Although it took longer than anticipated, Argentina made progress in a close match against Ecuador. Argentina took the lead in the tense contest when Lisandro Martinez headed a feed from Alexis Mac Allister to score the goal in the first half. However, Kevin Rodriguez equalized for La Tri just before halftime, forcing a penalty shootout. Nicolas Otamendi scored the game-winning penalty in that shootout to send La Alba Celeste to the semifinals. The winner of Friday's match between Venezuela and Canada, which Argentina has already defeated 2-0, will face them there. With this victory, Argentina captain Lionel Messi will go one step closer to his goal of adding more trophies to his ornate trophy case. Ecuador appeared to be gaining ground on the tournament's defending champions during the first 20 or so minutes. After a corner, Enzo Fernandez's attempt was stopped and crossed the goal line, giving Argentina the lead. Alexis Mac Allister touched on the corner that Messi blasted in, neatly playing it directly behind the Liverpool midfielder into open space. Lisandro Martinez quickly filled that space, heading the ball cleanly into the goal to give Argentina a 1-0 lead. However, despite having less possession, Ecuador led Argentina by a narrow margin in anticipated goals, 0.50 to 0.49, at the half. Five minutes into the second half, Christian Romero, Moises Caicedo, Messi, and another Argentina player struck the deck. Bodies flew. Following a long silence, Argentina attempted to extend their lead, but Lautaro Martinez's attempt was unsuccessful. When Alan Franco was pushed down in the area by Rodrigo de Paul in the 60th minute, referee Andres Matandi signaled for a penalty, giving Ecuador a glimmer of hope. Inner Valencia, the 34-year-old captain of Ecuador, faced off against Argentina goalie Emi Martinez but was unable to withstand the Argentine tactics. Valencia was forced to shake his head as Martinez turned to the crowd and pumped his arms in triumph after his slow-rolling strike sent the goalie the wrong way but clattered off the post. The predominantly Argentinian audience saluted him with chants of Dibu. The game's momentum almost completely shifted at that moment in favor of La Alba Celeste who had outplayed their opponents for the opening 70 minutes. Ecuador launched a counterattack after a messy free kick, but they were unable to muster a single effort on goal despite two crosses, one of which went to Valencia. Five minutes were added on, and it seemed inevitable that Argentina would cling on to preserve their victory in front of hordes of supporters in Houston. Ecuador, however, retaliated. A clatter of players was followed by La Tri winning a short free kick. Kevin Rodriguez was sent across in a state of desperation, and he laid his head on it. In the last seconds, the ball went over Emmy Martinez's diving body and into the net to equalize. Everyone's heart rates increased as soon as the game went to penalties at Houston's NRG Stadium. Messi was first up, and while he appeared composed under duress, he overdid it. His attempt at a paninka went over after it struck the crossbar. Argentina's supporters were ecstatic when Emmy Martinez saved Angel Mina in the first round redeeming his captain. After substitute Julian Alvarez attempted to pass through goalkeeper Alexander Dominguez's outstretched arms, Martinez came up for Argentina once more, blocking Alan Mendes' shot from Ecuador. Round three began with John Yeboa scoring the first Ecuadorian penalty of the evening, followed calmly by Alexis Mac Allister's strike into the right side netting. With a composed finish, Gonzalo Montiel, the guy who helped Argentina win the World Cup, forced Ecuador to take a risk against Jordi Caicedo. In an attempt to preserve his country, Caicedo booted his attempt down the center. Nicolas Otamendi took advantage of the opportunity to go forward. At MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, Argentina advanced to the semifinals as he slipped his shot past the diving Dominguez. 